You know, L. Ron Hubbard really was a Renaissance man. Uh, I don't know too many people who served as uh, senior enlisted uh, in the Marine Corps, uh, then became Navy officers, uh, were pilots. Uh, you know, he just seemed to, to be a man who uh, rose to the occasion, uh, took on any challenge, and, uh, and then was able to take probably a lot of his experiences and, and, you know, grab pen and put them on paper that made exciting reading for lots of folks. Since being introduced to L. Ron Hubbard, I've had an opportunity to read a couple of his uh, novels, and I'll have to tell you that, uh, that you know they're they're wholesome. Uh, they have a theme to them that uh, there is a difference between right and wrong, and uh, you know because he's trying to send a message, the right always wins, which is not bad. The Marine Corps takes a. Uh, a great deal of pride in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. Uh, Marines genuinely try to live to those, live up to those standards. Um, and I think that uh, in L. Ron Hubbard's books, he tries to bring those particular uh, traits forward uh, and show that if one lives by those standards, they are probably going to succeed. The Marine Toys for Tots program uh, has for 66 years helped bring the joy of Christmas and send a message of hope to America's less fortunate children. One of the key ways we do that is through our literacy program. Uh, we have been able to, over the past six years, present about t over 12 million books to less fortunate children and to schools in depressed areas. So always looking out there for individuals or corporate sponsors that can help us with that vital mission of addressing the literacy problem in our nation. For those of you out there that are looking for a way to make a difference, believe me, this is a great way to do it.